Hi, this is Suzette for Cloudy Sky today. And we are looking at lighthouses in the state of Florida. Now the plan was pretty simple. From Chiefland, we were gonna go out to Terra Vida Lighthouse. I mean, that was the only one we could see, even though it was closed. The one in Uncloud Key and Egmont State Park might be at sea, and I wasn't sure if we were able to see that dock. I don't, you know, from day four, we couldn't see the seahorse key from Cedar Key. So I was guessing, you know, skip these because if they're, if you need a boat to get to them and there are some little keys, I'm not going to try and see those. But I was going to try and see the tear of radar because it was on land. Even though when I called ahead, they said it was closed that week because it was Christmas week. So from Chiefland, we drove all the way to Gasparilla Island, where I believe there were two lighthouses, the Boca Grande and the one in the Gaspar Gasparilla State Park. From there, we went to the, oh, pointing the wrong way again, Sanibel Island Lighthouse. And it was very interesting. So we're going to get into it, okay? I was the one who set the GPS, so the error is on me. I put Sanibel Island in. I put Tierra Verde in, and I put Gasparilla Island in. Now, Uncle Key, from what I could see on the map, you couldn't get to by car. You needed a boat. So I thought I had this GPS thing set. Oh, what a ride it was. I mean, so many bridges to go over. I mean, I was sitting in the passenger seat, not driving and taking photos. No distracted driving here. I was in the passenger seat. So I was just taking along the route, all the different things that I could see. We crossed so many of these concrete bridges. And then the road ahead. Oh, and this bridge was very interested with all the lines that it had. Fortunately, it would have been better taking the picture off the bridge than on the bridge. Now, this lighthouse is at Gaspara Island. It was here I realized that I missed the Tierra Verde and it was an hour back north. So that would mean I had two hours to the round trip. Well, I guess Tierra Verde will have to be another time. And this was at Gasparilla Island Beach Park. Yes, there was a toll because it was some kind of private island. It's just me, see? And this one was the Boca Grande Land Lighthouse. And in this one, they actually had two lighthouses on this small like, island. Well, they said this was a lighthouse. I guess this part up here is, a, you know, you know that light that you can sort of just see. And of course, I went on the beach, nice sand and everything, and got a look at panoramic. Not too many people on the beach here, which was kind of good. You know, I went on a little walkway. Actually, more people started coming out to the beach. It was getting crowded, so time to get out of there. Yes, on the road again. Sky nice and blue. What do we have here? Sanibel Island Lighthouse. Oh, their beach was a little bit crowded. Let me share a video. This is that Boca Grande again. Now after this, hey, you know, it's time, it's time to go home. It was two hours away, so booked it home and called it. But Lighthouse Store, is it possible? Yes. Uh, could it have been better planned? Yes. But I was trying to make sure, you know, we had a place to sleep. So I booked hotels away, so we had to meet those point point. Point meet those points yeah i mean you don't want to not show up on your hotel the day when you're supposed to arrive but if i had to do it all over again i think an rv would be better because then you could just go book in the park and most parks are open because it's wintery months and you know stay as long and as little as you want so that's the tour five days around florida checking out some lighthouses starting in broward
going up to Cocoa Beach, from Cocoa Beach to Fernandia Beach, that's where Amelia Island is, and trekking on the I-10 across, you know, stopping in Tallahassee, from Tallahassee to Pensacola, Pensacola down to Panama City Beach, and from Panama City Beach to Chiefland, you know, I've got a couple of stops, a couple of lighthouses in between. From Chiefland, booked it down to Gaspara Island and Sanibel Island and then headed home. But hey, there are a lot more lighthouses in between there. And if you can do the trip and add the keys, might need more than five days though. Day five, on the fifth day, we were tired of driving. We were tired of new bed in a new hotel on a new night. On the fifth day, we were tired of sightseeing and long for the warmth of our own bed in our own space. Although Florida has 30 lighthouses, we had filled up on four the day before, day four and had grown wary of seeing beautiful bridges and scenic coasts. As much as I would like to get a good picture of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, although we had inadvertently skipped a lighthouse, no way. No way we were headed back north to see Tia Verde Lighthouse. We were southbound to see Gasparilla Island and Sanibel Island Lighthouses. Then we were two hours from home to our own beds while crossing Alligator Alley. We sighed at the sight. Welcome to Broward. <laughs>